ないのでポスポスフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ DVR module. Plug this in. Okay. I love the sound of that old Max Tool hard drive. I got the um, lens on here. So. It doesn't seem to automatically, there's motors on it, but I don't know how to um, control it so it automatically um, focuses and zooms in. There's no signal wires that control the um, lens on this thing, so it zooms, uh, focuses. Here we are. I got it all adjusted. Well, look. Mirror image to TV. Yikes, I threw the colour off the camera a bit there. It's designed to go on a ceiling, as it's from Woolworths. As you enter the uh, local Woolworths, there's a camera on the ceiling. Coles has these cameras as well. I think Fishers use them as well. Target's got these sorts of cameras as well, but on the roof, instead of on the ceiling. But uh, here to record. Not recording yet. But this thing's working beautifully. I've got my little uh, cables all soldered in. I'm popping the video cable here. I've got to go dig out in here adapter for this bloody input of this thing. That's uh, in a menu here. Hello. Gee, she's a bit unresponsive, isn't she? There we go. Got a camera one eye on leap. Video quality is on high. The recording frame rate's on high. Sensor setup. I think this is for, um, from what I can understand, those little motion sensors I think plug in, they, they would plug in there. And I think basically how it works, the sensor, motion sensor picks up a movement, it can be programmed to set this thing to record as soon as it picks up movement, which is uh, a pretty good idea. Instead of wearing the hard drive, they're just recording for no reason. I mean, you've got to have them on any, all the time anyway, but that's the idea of them, but best to say that, um, Wear and tear, but just as soon as it picks up movement, bang, it records it. Alarm out time. I'm not sure what's involved, and then I could hook my arm um, E2S if it's just a power, just an ordinary power, or is it some sort of um, signal of some sort. If it's just power, I could hook my arm um, E2S uh, alarm on the output of this thing. This will trigger my E2S alarm to go off. That would scare people, wouldn't it? There's a password that's not set in this thing, so why don't we format it? No slave, so I can't use that one. There's no password. It's not set. Password can be any of these buttons. Count as a digit. Master HD size, 93,055 megabytes. Um, no, it's 40 gig. Why does it say it's 93 gigabyte? She used 90 megabytes. I might have to pull the hard drive out just free format it on the computer. But it's not built up on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I might have to just format this hard drive on the computer. And it's just leaving it um, half used, so to speak. Can't really hear the hard drive going. It's spinning, but it's not, get, it's not getting used. Not off. These are all off, see? Pretty good, I'm happy with it. The uh, This has all worked out quite well. Spare cable to hook up to the camera. Heat shrunk up, it's working beautifully. You just gotta find out how to get the bloody thing to record.
dates were up, but the time's not. C.S. Lyle, they're going to Google up the schem uh, not schematic, sorry, the um, service manual. That'll tell me how to program it for the hard drive. The other ones I use on this thing, I just format it and bang, it will record. Maybe there's more to it. Now I've actually got a camera on this thing. It's different now. Search time hard drive master. No events. Okay. Menu, select event or time. Can't, there's no time on there. Nothing's on there, see? Yeah. It's nothing really on there to play. It hasn't recorded anything. Why is it on pause by default? It takes a bit of getting used to using this thing. Now it's not really responding to these buttons. There we go. The next thing is I figure out how to get it to record. <laughs> yeah, I'm off to um, just pull the hard drive out and just reformat it properly. Like I've, I've got a Windows XP installation on there to set up when I try to get it on the kiosk, but I might just run Linux on that kiosk just for now. Since Linux gets the drivers and generic ones and it just runs. I'll uh, wipe that hard drive and just format it normally on Windows, then put it down here, then it will format it and it should, um, because it, it worked last time when I did that, so it might be my problem. Yeah, it won't record. Something's going to be configured. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.